Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another project. This is the first video that I am recording in my new place. So this is going to be quite interesting. Uh, everything is, I think, set up properly. Uh, not too happy with my mic setup. Um, I think I might move the position in, uh, in some time, I think. Um, yeah, so anyway, as some of you guys may have noticed, there has been no video for, oh, I don't know, two months, two and a half months, something like that. Uh, that is basically because I moved, and I moved to a place that has shit internet. And yeah, things things were not fantastic. Uh, when I did get my internet sorted, and by sorted, um, <laughs> well, they're not sorted. We still have shit internet, but uh, we have internet that we can kind of use. However, my computer died. Yep. Really, really. So, um, I thought I had an electrical short, so I bought a new case because the fan controller and all that kind of stuff that was built into my old case had all fried out and shorted, so I thought it might be that, so I bought a nice new case. Nope, still had the electrical short. Turned out it was my motherboard that uh, had some corrosion on it where my cat had thrown up on my motherboard. Um, after finishing a, a stream in my old house. So, unfortunately, that is dead. And getting a Z97 motherboard these days is basically not really possible. It's not worth it. They still sell for basically brand new money, and they are obviously not worth brand new money. So, uh, luckily, my missus is upgrading her PC. So, I have her CPU and her motherboard in my new case unfortunately it's an amd fx 8150 so we've gone quite far back in performance but that's okay at least you know i'm lucky enough that, that i could borrow that and um i'm lucky enough that <laughs> i did actually have a spare guts of a machine to use so uh games are going to be a little bit Lower tech, shall we say, because my capture card doesn't like this motherboard or CPU. So that renders all my, my game consoles, uh, well, uh, renders them all um, unusable. For now, I am saving every penny I can because I'm going to be building a new machine this year. But for now, we'll go with what works. So we're going to be playing Terror from the Deep on Open XCOM. Uh, this is a game that I've wanted to play for a while. I kind of shit my pants because it is a very, very, very hard game. Um, of course, we had UFO Enemy Unknown, which we completed quite a few moons ago, actually. And uh, we are playing vanilla. There is a very, very juicy, very spicy mod for this game that uh, I do want to investigate at some point. But because it has been so long, so long since I played this, I thought we'll go for vanilla for, for our first run. Um, of course, anybody that wants to be a soldier and uh, die in the line of duty, hopefully performing heroic deeds, uh, of course, throw your names down into the comments and we'll have you, uh, we'll have you suited and booted. So, let's get into this. We're gonna go veteran. Um, we are going to be playing Iron Man, unlike when we did UFO. So victory is not guaranteed. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. I'm not going to be clicking Iron Man because um, anything can happen when you're recording, especially when you're using an old motherboard that's been jerigged into your computer. Crashes and stuff can happen. So. Um, you're just going to have to trust me. Uh, if something goes shit and we actually do lose, then we lose, uh, boys and girls. So let's continue. Where should we go? And this is deafening. Also, open XCOM and open Terror for the Deep. Oh, it looks nice. It does look nice. And it runs at 60 FPS as well. Um, whereas these games before were capped and not very well optimized. So where should we plonk our base? Let's go, oh, I don't know. 
So actually quite a lot of um, strategy to putting down your first base. I mean, that is a big chunk. That is a big chunk there. That is also quite the chunk, to be honest. Oh, I, one thing I will mention as well, this, this computer is water-cooled, but it's loud as fuck. Um, this case has two fans in it. Well, three, actually, if you, you count the water cooler. And it is about four times louder than my old computer. So, yeah, bear that in mind. Uh, let's plonk ourselves down here. Oops. That just spacked over there a minute. Let's go there. I mean, we, we've got a good, good bit of coverage there. Oh, what should we call it, man? You know, I used to be so much more prepared for this. XCOM, I don't know. Let's just be basic. XCOM 1. The, oh yeah, and we can actually um, configure our base however we like because uh, that's one of the mods that I do have on because usually you had to spend uh, uh, quite a lot of time reorganizing everything and a lot of finances as well uh, which personally if I'm you know signing the checks should we say and um, I am the person in charge it seems very counterproductive to construct a base and then reorganize it so we're going to dump down the airlock there. We're going to put our sub pens in, which should be serving us very well. So we've got two barracudas, which are our interceptors, and we have uh, a triton, which is our transport craft in this, uh, in this game. Now, there is a mod that I'm looking forward to called the War of Terrifying Silence, which changes so much. The research tree is huge. They've done incredible amounts of work. Um, basically, you don't start with these subs, even though these are your crap basic stuff in, in vanilla. No, 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 no. You start way down the tech tree. You have to research and develop these, which is really cool. We'll have our living quarters, we'll have our general stores, we shall have our laboratory where all the nerds work, we shall have our tech boys next to the nerds, and we shall have our standard sonar there. But before we do anything else, let's let's get some more stuff going. Let's get some research. We've only got ten scientists, that's fine. Uh bases Oh my god guys, it's been so long. Seriously. Build facilities, there we go. We're probably gonna want another living quarters. In fact, definitely. Um, standard sonar, wide array sonar, get that bad boy going. Torpedo defense is like, okay if you get attacked. Um, each defensive uh, turret, if you will, that you have in your base gives you one shot to damage the uh, attacking craft. But torpedo defenses, I mean, they're basically rubbish. Uh, we also want alien containment. We'll put that next to the lab boys. We will also have more general stores because you cannot have enough general stores. We've got just under two and a half mil left. So let's purchase and recruit. We're going to get. We've got eight Aquanauts. That's no good. I think we can have 12. Yeah, we can have 12. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll get some more rounds for the Interceptors. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. What our Barracudas are equipped with, to be honest. Right, so this is the weapons that we start off with. Uh, now, again, with the new mod, um, you don't really start off with any of this stuff. You have to research it. You start off with some seriously shit weaponry. Now, this game is hard. This game is proper, proper hard. Yeah, the jet harpoon and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're going to want some more, some more clips for those. Uh, gas cannons are a lot of fun. We're going to get some gas cannons. Um, we're going to go for the high explosive bolts and get some packs of those. And we'll go for some normal as well. You know what? 
We'll get some phosphorus rounds as well because they're always fun. Hydrojet, I never liked. We could go for a torp launcher. We've got one in stock. We've also got the small torpedoes. Yes. Um, go for the large torpedoes. We'll get someone manning the rocket launcher for sure. Um, and of course, we want chemical flares. Uh, particle disturbance grenades. Yeah, we'll go for die grenades. Die grenades are always fun. You need so many smokes and so many die grenades in this game. It's not even funny. Right, so that's cost us nearly a quarter of a mil. That's fine. Let's get the uh, tech boys going. We're going to start working. We're going to work on the particle disturbance sensor. No, we're not. We're going to work. There's no point doing the med kit just yet because we don't have armor. <laughs> and without armor, trust me, ladies and gentlemen, the med kit is completely useless. So we're going to start working on the particle disturbance center. Because we're going to start manufacturing these to earn us some money. Right. That is about all we can do. Apart from, let's have a look who we have here. Uh... Ah, uh, the rank's different as well. See, in the mod, you start off as ranks um, fish food, <laughs> which I think is quite funny, very apt. Um, let's go for, have we got someone with some crazy accuracy? 70%. That's quite spicy for a fresh recruit. Now, one thing that always cracks me up as well is XCOM is supposed to be using the best, uh, the best of the best. Uh, which, well, I mean, if this is humanity's um, crowning achievements, uh, these are the creme la creme of the gene pool. Well, uh, I think we're in for some chop, put it that way. Right, so we have H. Welcome, H. Now, let's just wait for stuff to happen now. Hmm, we've got our equipment coming. Cool. Uh, we're actually going to equip the sub. We're going to load the Triton up. Everyone's on board. Get all the equipment. Um, I've taken, I think. Let's just try. The, oh, we're getting rid of the dark guns. What have we got dark guns for? You must be joking, mate. That ain't happening. So let's load up all the equipment. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, I've taken the equipment li uh, limit off the uh, Triton because I never thought that made sense because I would imagine these things have got some pretty uh, some pretty deep reserves of equipment, you know. Uh, dark gun can go. Inventories. We can actually like equip people here, but I think I will do this off camera uh, when we go to combat. <laughs> H, you're looking beautiful, baby. I love that smile. That's That's brilliant. <laughs> the egg. Oh, that's great. You would have thought... Oh, God, he's wearing lipstick. Hey, fella. Jesus. All right. That is fine. They're wearing the same lipstick, I think. <laughs> that's probably what's cracking the H up so much, I reckon. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right, okay, cool. Now, let's wait. Not an awful lot of anything happening, which is... Ah. We've got some new dudes. Excellent. Chuck the Aquanauts. How do we do that again? Equip submarine. Triton. Crew. There we go. Boop. There we go. It's been so many years since I've played one of these. Honestly, guys. Um, we could actually... You know what? When a few guys start dying... Um, I might get a vehicle going just to scout because you don't have to just take infantry with you you can take if we go into where's the UFO PDR we do get yeah we get these which they're okay they're not brilliant but uh, they're good scouts uh, and unlike a decent soldier, if these get destroyed, it only costs us money. So, hmm, maybe. We shall see. Anyway, well, let's go. 4th of January. 
Nothing's happening so far. We've got 50, well, four packs of 50 rounds for the gas cannons. That's fine. Oh, actually, what? Hmm. Equip submarines. What are our barracudas? Uh, they have the Aj Ajax torpedoes. Okay. In that case, purchase. Let's get some more Ajax going, because we don't want to run out of torpedoes. We've got 25 in the bank. Uh, well, I guess not for now, then. If we sell sack, let's get rid of dark guns. Yeah, these things are literally worthless. Not worth our time. All right. Oh, let's see what happens. Right, contact. Alien sub one. Very small, very deep. East. Let's intercept it. Barracuda one. Go. Go get them, boys. Oh, it's a little bit too fast for us. Here we go. Contact. Going for a standard attack. What we were. Oh, he's a bit of a spicy one, actually. Come on, come on. Come on. Open up with a gas cannon. Beautiful. Now that is what we're talking about. Nice work, Barracuda One. Nice kill. Let's get our Aquanauts out. All right, boys. At least we have. At least. Oh, it's in deep water, though. Deep water is bad. Because that's going to really limit our, our range, uh, our viewing range. Now, uh, aliens don't have that problem. Um, the aliens can see better than us in the depths, which <laughs> does put us at a straight disadvantage. Anyway, let's go. Alien sub crash recovery. Crash site one. Extreme caution. There will be aliens in the submarine and around the site. This mission will be complete when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. Recovery of alien sub remains, technology, and alien corpses can then be initiated. To abort the mission, return XCOM Aquanauts to the submarine and click on the abort mission icon. Indeed. So, limited accuracy. Reactions are quite eh. Oh, a good amount of weight to you though you got a die grenade now somehow yeah we can set the timers so we've already primed that grenade uh, this is part of the mod as well so as soon as we come out of the uh, the sub we can hock some grenades um, okay that's fine actually oh you can't quite have a gas cannon that's disappointing. I mean, hopefully we're only getting some seriously basic aliens here. Oof, oof. What are you rocking? You put those bad boys in there. How do we re- How do we- Okay, unload weapon. That's it. Nice. Right, so Emil, you're ready to- Yeah, you don't need that in your hand, buddy. I don't think so anyway. Got phosphorus rounds. Uh, no. You're going to go with explosives. And you're going to go ready with a die grenade. Because these two should be the first out. First out of the boat. You got some good gear. You've also got some good gear. You don't want everyone rolling with explosive ammo. But it is handy. Explosive ammo in this game for the gas cannon. <laughs> when it's useful, when it's required, it's really required. So, okay. Now, H. I kind of want you. Oh. H can be rocking the torpedo launcher. For sure. With the large torpedoes. What's in that? That's got a large in it, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh my god, these are so heavy. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. Right. You know, that'll that'll do us. That'll do us. Whew. So first tentative steps outside. Oh shit. Well under fire straight away. Your accuracy stinks, dude. Uh Okay. Okay, where is the target? It's right there. Is that not primed? Yeah, it is primed. Okay, fine. Um who is available and ready to go? Hamil. See if we can take a cheeky snapshot. That's going to take 20 TUs. You've got 42. Let's go for it. Yeah, that was about as what I was expecting. Get back in the boat. Ah. Right. Take a knee, my friend. Go for an auto shot. Give me an auto shot. You just literally hit him in the face with that. And he was like, no shits. No shits given. How many TUs do you need to fire? 20 for a very low accuracy shot. Um, right. Can you take a knee and 41%? Get around on him. No line of fire, of course. Oh, fuck. Check out that reaction fire. That was not our explosive guy. That was disappointing. Okay. It's not going overly well, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get Ellie out here. She can see two, are you kidding me? Oh god, danger close, and she's out of TUs. She can't even she can't even nil. Right, so what we are going to do in that case, let's smoke our guys out. Come on, let's give these guys some cover. Can we get anybody else? There's H sale, there's torpedo launcher. How much do you need to fire that? Low actually shots, 22 time units. Okay. Well, for this turn, let's see what they do. Yep. Already got casualties. That's fine. That's terror from the deep for you, boys. Auto shot 14%. It's probably because we're in a smoke cloud, but... Damn, our accuracies are really bad. Let's see if we can get an explosive round on target here. 41. No. Got enough for a snap. No line of fire. He's not going to be able to do it, is he? Nope. Well, the smoke will spread. We're not in the corner either, which is concerning. Okay, let's get some guys down. Or let's try and push her up. Twenty-one. She's twenty to fire. Come on. Oh, that was painful. This game. I'll tell you what, when this game first starts, man. I mean, I know you guys are fighting underwater, but come on. Right, we'll get H ready to go next turn. Let's get some fresh meat ready, shall we? Let's 
get these guys loaded. I mean, this is first blood, all right. I'm not expecting too many of us to survive. You can't even duck. You have... I mean, there's 14% even on an auto shot. Uh, auto shots are low accuracy shots anyway, but you do get three of them. I like to think three chances at 14% is better than one at 21%. Uh, you'll probably just get a shoot. Oh, yeah gonna shoot your teammate in the back but let's see what happens no line of fire anyway yeah literally right, let's pull you back then let's try and not enough time units shit okay let's see what happens oh grenade wait what grenade A grenade on the first mission? What? And I think they've just blown up most of our equipment. No, nope, our equipment seems fine. Alright. Come on, H. You need to score us some serious wins here. 45 TUs. You got enough? Make it happen, H. Good night, you son of a bitch. Okay, we'll take it. Oh no, don't go berserk! <laughs> dude, dude, chill. Honestly. Mate, honestly, it's gonna be great when we get back. It's gonna be lovely. Um, stop panicking, please. They've got grenades! I can't believe they got grenades, guys. I didn't think they got grenades until like the second month. Oh my god. <sighs> Emil, you're probably dead. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, and we're, e oh, we're actually in the corner here, I think. Uh, kind of? No. Kind of, but not really. Alright. <sighs> I don't want hate sh I want H to be ready, but I don't want him to be out. Because, well, let's be real here. If H goes down, I mean, he's kind of our best, the best tool in our uh, toolbox at the moment. Just because he has that. Oh yeah, you panicked, you panicked. And you panicked and dropped your gun. God, you guys are fools. We might get our asses spanked here. Oof. Stop panicking! <laughs> guys! No! No! <laughs> you fools! <laughs> oh no. Oof! Oof! No! No! Stop! Shooting! <laughs> Stop shooting! You fool! Oh, what could go wrong next, eh? Um, I do love the fact that when these guys panic, they, <laughs> they will just charge the fuck out. Right, we know that there's an alien around here somewhere. We saw the snaky son of a bitch. We just don't know where the bastard is. That's the trouble right now. We know they're out here. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Jesus Christ. H, I really don't want to move you up. But... We might have to. At least he's a decoy. You're back. You found your bollocks, buddy. That's good. I still don't know where the sub is. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. There's not a lot of cover here either. Let's get you out. Again, nothing happening. 
Well, it's kind of difficult to know where to advance to because I think he's buggered off. I mean, we definitely only killed one of them. Okay. Let's... Let's get some more dye out here. Stop! No! Stop panicking! Stop going berserk! Seriously, guys! Stop shooting my Triton! Do you know how expensive they are? Jesus, right. You're back. Can you please go and compose yourself? Can you go pick up a gun? Ah, oh, You're a weakling, so... Ah. Uh. Of course not. Right, go sit there and think about what you've done. You are also back. Can you pick up a gun? Yes, you can. Right, now you've found your nuts, and you've found your nuts. <sighs> Mikhail is just shitting in his pants, which can't be great. You can press up. Just get into cover. There's the alien sub. Okay, so we found our target. Alright. Okay, let's try and claw something back from this. H. H's bravery is like kind of doing pretty good right now. H, I'm going to move you up to the sub, buddy. Because if that, those sub doors open, you're going to put a rocket right in the middle. A torpedo, I should say. Whew. Damn, I can't find this guy anywhere. He's got to be here, though, surely. Surely. Yeah, we ruptured this one good. Look at that. Blew a fucking great big hole out of it. Right, well, okay. All right, Emil. Keep hunting down the sectoid. I know the sniveling little turd's got to be around here somewhere. Don't know why you went back round, am I? We're not gonna. We're not gonna question it. Right, have you calmed down now? Have you stopped throwing your toys around? You have. Pick up your gun and get back into it. In fact, you can run round here. Where did that guy go? It's making me a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. And there really is not a lot of cover here at all. Alright, so we're going to take uh, baby steps here. Come on, H. I'm going to push you up just a little bit. Really don't like how exposed you are. But it's not too much we can do at the moment. You better believe there's going to be aliens inside there. Uh, you've moved. You're weaponized. Let's move you up. Okay, and you are also, I kind of want you to come up here to hunt that alien because <sighs> that sectoid's definitely out there somewhere, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, I don't trust it. Oh, we've got a hydrojet cannon. Yeah, of course, because we start off with one, don't we? Um, you're a weakling. You're exposed. Can you get prime 13, 12 to throw? Good man. OK, 
Give him some cover. Still nothing happening. Okay. Get yourself another grenade, my dude. We might actually be in the clear here, then. Sectoid must have... Uh, but Aquatoid, yeah, they're definitely not here. He's probably back shitting in his pants somewhere. Damn, it's hard to see the Aquanauts, to be honest, with all this bloody stuff everywhere. Right, move up. Take a knee. Now, <clears throat> making you guys nil does make them harder to hit, but... There ain't a lot in it. Basically, if you get hit by anything in this game, you're dead. At least before you have any weapons and armor. Alright, I don't want to move you up too far. You're good. Right, let's get you moving. Not enough time units, that's fine. <sighs> Oofed. Let's see if we can pull this back. That son of a bitch is up there somewhere. Right. It's definitely up there somewhere. Come on. Still nothing happening. Okay, this is kind of weird. And we're on 38 minutes, guys, so. I'm going to call it there. This is one thing I do like. Oh god, it feels so strange to be putting like LP. Um, bad start. <laughs> yeah, it feels weird to be recording again. Okay, well I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Um, I don't know how this battle's gonna end. <laughs> it's not gonna be brilliant, I don't think. We're already what three, four men down three men down in the first contact Oofed. hmm anyway when we come back guys we're gonna finish up this mission one way or another and uh, hopefully we're gonna get some stuff back I hope anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always until next time